Altaplase, also known as TPA, is a thrombolytic medication that is often called a clot buster. It is used to treat existing clots. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover important facts about Altaplase so you'll be ready come test day. First, take a look at the toilet paper. In today's scene, we are in an extremely dirty public restroom. The last person to use this stall really made a mess with the toilet paper. This toilet paper, or TP if you will, will serve as your memory anchor for the drug TPA. Get it? TP for TPA. Okay, but seriously, TPA stands for Tissue Plasminogen Activator, a protein that is naturally found in the bloodstream that normally works to break down clots. We can give synthetic versions of TPA as a medication, and these drugs are easily recognized by their teplase ending. The most common is altaplase, but you may come across tenecteplase or retoplase. Just remember that the ending teplase also sounds like TP, and it'll be easy to remember that these drugs are related to TPA. Next, let's talk about what TPA is used for. The janitor cleaning up the bathroom does not look very happy to find a big wad of toilet paper clogging the toilet. Good thing she brought her toilet plunger with her to unclog the drain. You know, the way this toilet plunger unclogs the toilet reminds me a lot of how TPA works, because TPA is used to remove clots in arteries. That's why it's often called the clot buster drug, although the technical term is a thrombolytic drug. Clots in the body can lead to several medical emergencies by blocking blood flow, including stroke, heart attacks, pulmonary embolisms, and deep vein thrombosis. A patient actively experiencing one of these conditions may be given TPA to break up the clot and immediately restore blood flow. Then they will be prescribed another type of drug for long-term clot prevention. Just remember this toilet plunger removing the clot and restoring the toilet's water flow to help you remember that TPA removes clots and restores blood flow. The janitor keeps checking her watch. Like most people, she gets off work at 5 o'clock. It's 4.30 now, and she is just counting down the minutes. This 4.30 is important because it is here to remind you that TPA should be administered within four and a half hours of ischemic stroke symptoms. Ideally, TPA will be given within three hours, but if certain criteria are met, TPA can be given up to four and a half hours after the start of stroke symptoms. When a stroke is involved, it's important to act quickly so that the TPA can be administered to be effective before too much brain tissue dies and is no longer recoverable. Beyond a certain time point, the dangers of giving TPA, which we'll cover next, outweigh the potential benefits of giving it. This time point is four and a half hours. Finally, let's talk about an important adverse effect of TPA. Take a look at the janitor's bleeding hand. A whole day of cleaning up toilet paper and plunging clogged toilets has rubbed her hands raw, so much so that they're bleeding. The janitor's bleeding hands should help you remember that TPA causes bleeding as its major side effect. This makes sense when you think about how the purpose of TPA is to stop clotting. By stopping the body's clotting mechanism, TPA can cause patients to bleed profusely. For this reason, it is contraindicated in patients already at an increased risk for bleeding. This includes things like any medical history of bleeding, uncontrolled hypertension, or an aneurysm. Keep a close eye on the patient for signs of bleeding, such as a sudden drop in blood pressure. Alright, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Tissue Plasminogen Activator, or TPA for short, is a thrombolytic or clot-busting protein that is also formulated as drugs ending in teplase, like altaplase. TPA works to dissolve clots, which is used to treat medical emergencies caused by clots that block blood flow, such as a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, and even deep vein thrombosis. Clinically, TPA is often given in the setting of ischemic stroke, and in this context, it is important to administer the drug within four and a half hours from the start of the stroke symptoms. Beyond this time point, the dangers of giving TPA outweigh the potential benefits. One dangerous side effect to note is an increased risk for bleeding. And now we're actually done with TPA. I think we're getting around to five o'clock, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.